the church of Jesus Christ. What are we asking for when we call for Christian statesmanship? There's a lot of confusion today, even among Christians, because of the dominance of the secular left in education and media over the past 60 or 70 years. To get a sense of it, we must go back before the modern revolutionaries tried to change our history. There is no question that America's founding fathers were opposed to a theocracy, but they were equally clear that religion, by which they meant Christianity, was essential for a self-governing people. They appeal to Almighty God and the founding of the nation. The signers of the Declaration of Independence said that they were, quote, appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions. They declared that they were founding a new nation, quote, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. And of course, they set out the fact that all human beings are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These days, statements like this would earn you the charge of Christian nationalism from the likes of CNN and Rob Reiner. The idea that government and politics should be completely separated from religion is what we call secularism. And secularism demands that we untether any legislation from a basis in God's transcendent moral truth. You've likely heard the old slogan, you can't legislate morality. Perhaps you've even said it yourself, but the problem is it's completely false. In fact, all legislation is imposing someone's morality. It's unavoidable. Whether it's a law about theft or a law about tax policy, some conception of morality is always involved. So why in the world would Christians agree that this morality should be untied from God's word? Why would we agree that any morality except God's morality should be enshrined? Our founders certainly did not. They knew that without a foundation in God himself, rights and laws were just wisp of vapors that could disappear as soon as the winds change. So yes, the need of the day is true Christian statesmen, not just people who mouth certain religious slogans as a way of getting votes, but people with deeply rooted understanding of God's instructions regarding government and Christ's instruction to teach the nations all that he has commanded. Jesus Christ is Lord of the United States, and we need not shy away from that. In fact, shying away from it is what's brought us to our current sad predicament.